Hey guys, um, welcome back to Rich Without Much Money. Today I'm trying to get a refund. Actually, I have been trying to get this refund for a flight ticket for about one month now. For one month, I have been trying to get this refund. Um, I have been sending emails back and forth, back and forth um, for a flight that was canceled or rescheduled. Uh, the flight was to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, through um, this company. Come here, I'll show you the logo. Um, well, you can't see the logo here, but it's JC Airlines. Let me show you, let's see, let's try here. JC Airlines. Let me go back to another, I will show you. Uh, let's see here help desk I think you can see their logo here uh, so I asked them may I know your Skype ID because it's difficult to contact them by phone we have been emailing back and forth they told me I need to process the refund there okay so here is their logo this is the logo for JC Airlines um, they've been telling me that I need to process um, the refund online but it doesn't work. So I've been calling them, emailing them for one month. I just called them and they told me that they were offline, that their internet was offline so that they could not process the refund. And then I asked them to call me back. And uh, they said, sure, sir, we can call you back. And then right after that, click. We lost connection, right? So I'm gonna call them back right now. Um, because um, one of the emails, um, the email for reservations at JC Airlines, they will automatically reply. So she told me that they are offline, that their internet is not working. So what I did was I sent an email to reservations at JC Airlines to see if I would get the auto reply and I just got the auto reply so I know that their internet is working their internet maybe it wasn't working a few minutes ago and maybe all of a sudden now it's working maybe they're telling the truth so I'm gonna call them back there's two different numbers uh, I'm going to call the first number which is a different number uh, the first time I called this number I called it twice in a row nobody picked up nobody answered right so let me call it again it's this one seven oh seven last three digits seven oh seven so this is the number i'm calling on the minions phone right <laughs> Yeah, it was quite an unpleasant experience because I had to spend the night in the airport. You guys know what it's like when you miss a flight, right? You got to spend the night at the airport, buy another ticket, which is more expensive. Um, with other airlines, such as Air Asia and other economy airlines, um, when I have taken trips and something like this has happened, they would automatically give me the refund they will automatically give me the refund I, I just called them or emailed them and told them and then they automatically refunded me right they processed it all right so that number is not working um so um let's try the other number yeah this one's ending in 709 no, 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 no. That's the same one. Let's go back. Use the earlier you used already. One. Yeah, this is it. 709. Um, so you don't need the zero at the beginning. This is the number ending in 709. This is the second number. This is the one that they answered. Yeah. And told me the internet's not working. Yeah. Answer. So he's ringing many times. Why they don't want to answer? Yeah, they don't want to answer. So. They're so. 
It's obvious they don't want to they, refund they're you. They're obvious they don't want to give you a refund. And uh, they told me that they sent me an email uh, telling me that the flight time was changed. Uh, I never got that email. But they actually sent me like a picture as proof that they sent me that email. But I never got it. Alright, so see they're not answering. So I told them, you know, after many polite uh, formal emails, uh, I told them finally, I said, listen, if you don't give me the refund, I'm going to vlog about this and tell other people about this terrible refund process. Now, what I have learned from this experience is that in the future, any time that we are taking a flight somewhere, right, I'm going to email the airline personally to confirm the flight time before we go, right? I will do it a few days before and then maybe again, like the day of, right? I will, I will probably do it a few days before and then again the day of or right before, as soon as possible before to confirm the flight time because I never want to have to spend the night in the airport again. I've already done it like probably three or four times in my time spent in Southeast Asia. But like I said, with other airlines, when they know that they messed up, right, they just gave me the refund. I didn't have to email them back and forth for one month and call them and nobody, you know, have nobody answering. So again, JC Airlines, if you're flying to Cambodia, be careful, all right? And uh, I remember when I was booking my new ticket and it had to be with JC Airlines again. I, I told um, the girls working at the help desk, I said, actually, I don't want to book another ticket with JC Air because they're the ones who, you know, made me miss my flight, right? But I had no choice. I had to book another ticket with JC Air because they had the cheapest ticket, right? So I had to spend the night at the airport, and you know what that's like. You wake up every hour on the hour with a new crowd of people arriving in the airport. So it's not enjoyable. It's not a pleasant experience to spend the night in the airport, as you know. Anyway, so what I learned is in the future, uh, I will always email the airline before um, we are scheduled to depart to double check and confirm that that plane is still leaving on the same day and the same time. I never want to go through this again. I hope you guys can take this advice to always double check for your departure time in person because you may not get the email from the airline uh, such as what just happened to me. And if you're going to book with JC Airlines to go to Cambodia, please be informed that their refund process is not automatic and they will probably try to cheat you out of your refund, all right? So it's up to you to confirm your departure time and date, all right? So I hope you can take this advice, be informed of JC Airlines and their sketchy, terrible refund process. Have fun in Cambodia and have fun in your future travels. Thank you. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments.